An object moves at a constant speed of 6 meters per second. This means that the object A increases its speed by 6 meters every second, B decreases its speed by 6 meters every second, C doesn't move, D has a positive acceleration, E moves 6 meters every second. So we're told that our object is moving at a constant speed of 6 meters per second. So if our speed is constant, then A, stating that we're increasing our speed by 6 meters every second, would be incorrect because our speed is constant. B is also wrong because it's stating that we are decreasing our speed by 6 meters per second every second, but we're remaining constant, so B is also wrong. C states that the object is not moving, but if you remember the equation, speed is equal to distance over time. We can now solve this equation in the form of the distance. So distance is equal to speed times time. If we pick any time, say two seconds, and we want to find the distance that it would have traveled in that time, it would be six meters per second times the two seconds, which would give us 12 meters. So in that time of two seconds, our object would have moved 12 meters. If the value came out to be zero, then yes, he would be right. But in this case, we have moved from our initial position, so C is wrong. D states that it would have a positive acceleration, but once again, our object is moving at a constant speed, so it's not changing. Therefore, your acceleration is zero, because the acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. If V remains the same, over a time of say two seconds, then on the in the numerator you would have zero meters per second divided by the two seconds, which would give you a value of zero meters per second squared. So your acceleration is not positive or negative, it is in fact zero. Finally, E states that we move six meters in every second. So once again, we're going to return to the form that our distance is equal to speed times time. If we now plug in for t as 1 second instead of 2, like before, we would get d is equal to 6 meters per second times 1 second, which would give us a d of 6 meters. So for every second, because we're moving at a constant speed, our distance that we would move in every second would be 6 meters as stated in e. So therefore, E is correct.